Hey, look! Another rift opened up. I thought I closed all those. Where are we? What are these tunnels? We're in the Dwarven Mines, where I work. You're a miner now? It's not like I had an in-demand skill set beyond the whole ill orcs cast spells thing. Plus, turns out, people weren't exactly grateful when I shut off the magic juice. No, they most certainly would not be because they don't know the effort you put into it, the War Mage. So yeah, hello viewers, this is The Tunnels, a 5 skull ride by Clockworks. Now, I this is the second level essentially, and as you can see, a, a new enemy type. I'll be demonstrating him when he shows up. I had 10 skulls to spend, so I just went ahead and got the old brimstone, because that's a valid option. Now, how I'll be doing this series is I'll be slowing it down to normal speed during the build phases and talking a little bit and during the fighting phases I think I'll just go ahead and super speed it up like I did before. Now how I usually do this level? Very simple way. I essentially uh, trap up one side completely or at least about to here and then I'll start trapping up the other one later but I manually defend one side on my own now you want to trap up this side first because the because the new enemy type comes from the left hand spawn first, so it's an orc Shazam barbecue. basically. Now you've got to be careful with the arrow walls on this map because they knock enemies down. The arrow walls are a bit annoying. This is why I prefer the acid sprayers over tar. Acid sprayers over tar are so so lovely, but yeah, uh, arrow walls knock enemies over the edge here, and then they just they just start dashing through those tunnels and go straight to your rift. It can be a bit of a pain in the ass because no, it's just plain annoying to be perfectly honest. Arrows for everyone. But, you know, that's just how it Keep goes. It Come at me, bros. Come at me. You have the right to remain silent. Hey, you're supposed to die when you hit the tar for Pete's sake. Orcs. Now I could have chosen the money trinket instead of the uh, brimstone, but you know I can get combos like this. If I'm if I'm get a combo, I might as well go for it. Boom. The rift's opening. Now this is where we manually defend this side on our own. Easy as pie. If you can't manually defend a side on your own, I suggest you go down to the next lowest difficulty, which is Apprentice. But playing on Apprentice will not yield you any results, to be perfectly honest. You only get two scores for doing that at best, and it's not fun, because where's the challenge? If you want an easy game, I suggest you not play Orcs Must Die 2. In fact, go back to Orcs Must Die 1. Because that game was a little bit easier. Can you stop can you die already, Christ? Cool. That's gonna leave a mark. Bring it! Hmm. I was gonna say, you're getting about a blunderbuss, but you can always just launch a few grenades over, like so. The enemies are starting to get a little bit too far. You can see these grenades knock back enemies, so if you just launch a few over there, which take a man by the way, so don't spam them. You can just keep that side delayed. Like so. What? Ah, uh, the cheeky bitch you got by. See, they got knocked down because of me. Hey, hey, where are you going? I'm more interested than some shiny rift. Now come here. For you, old man. Just add orcs and blend. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Time to go to work. 
I'll keep the left side delayed for as long as you can. Traps can never really handle a side on their own. There's the elemental on the left, guys. It's Earth Elemental Worlds. I was a little disappointed that there weren't different variations of elementals, but when they die, they essentially break up into smaller little ones. There's three stages of elementals. There's the really small ones. There's a middle class one that splits up into two little ones when he dies. And then there is the big one that turns into two mediums. And then and then the, uh, the two mediums turn into uh, four little ones. Perfect demonstration right there. But the little ones are really easy to kill. They're, they're pretty much sprinters. They're, they're pretty damn fast, but uh, nothing you can't handle. Nothing you cannot handle, my friends. Because we are orc slaying masters, final wave. Final wave easy as pie for the orc slaying masters that we are, don't you agree? Just, many people don't know this, but you can also place a couple of arrow walls there and they'll hit the rift. So it's a nice little spot. If I had more time and money, I would do it. It's a good thing to put on Endless as well. When you have no spots left. Looking good. Here's an example. Hey, why isn't that triggering? There we go, now it triggers, see? Now it freaking triggers. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. No, oh, some sneaky gawk got dropped down. Hey, come here. Doom. What? I'm done. So in hindsight, if you don't take the Brimstone on that level, you have a few other choices to what as to what you could think. No, I'm not taking the Endless, but I'm just saying. If you didn't take the Brimstone, you could have taken uh, Spikes instead. And if you could have taken a scavenger trinket, for example, or you could have taken a different weapon. You know, you could you could have taken anything basically, but uh, your choices are limited into what you can get when you have when you have limited skulls. So I just went for the brimstone because I could. A scavenger trinket might have been more effective because I could have just spammed tar, tar and arrow walls on both sides because brimstone is quite expensive, despite what people actually think. Anyway, thank you for watching. We will now move on to the old sorceress section of things. Hey, look! Now the rift opened up. Now I closed all those. Where are we? Where are these tunnels? We're in the dwarven mine. And now for the sorceress section of things. You still don't have much variety as to what you can choose. So I just went ahead and upgraded my uh, acid sprayer to do a bit more damage and slow enemies. Turns out. People weren't exactly grateful when I shut off the magic juice. Yeah, yeah. So, we're basically gonna do the same setup as last time, but we're gonna be using... Hold on a minute. Just a free spike of this. Like so. I'm ready. Now... The Sorceress is probably easier to deal with the early levels because of this scepter, which is... Remember me, sweet lady. Gotta be better than the Blunderbuss, to be perfectly honest, just because of the sheer usefulness of it. And when you can one-shot the little orcs like this, you just keep coming in number. There's not much difficulty to it all. Line up for me, please. See what I mean? Boom. Boom. Shazam. Headshots. No. <laughs> I'm kidding, you can't headshot with the scepter, unfortunately, but... Not that it would make much of a difference, because... Okay. Headshotting with this thing would be actually quite difficult. As you can see, we already have a lot more traps than last time because the brimstone costs like a thousand. So it's a lot more expensive. Spikes can, can be more effective in this manner. And that charm, such a useful ability. How many orcs can you kill in two days? Boom, 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 boom.
This is why I don't like the early waves when you don't have a lot of traps unlocked, just because of the fact that uh, it mainly comes down to spamming floor traps and wall traps and just relying on those. That's a bit of isn't it? Let's just go and auto G up, guys, because uh, we don't really need to wait, do we? Do you need to wait? Because I don't think I need to wait. Watch out. Elemental. If you didn't watch my wall mage section, the elemental, the elemental is a very uh, simple enemy. I was a little upset that there weren't different uh, types of elementals, such as fire, lightning, ice, and all that jazz, but. Uh, no, I can't be complaining. I'm extra helping us There's small elementals, which are fast, but really weak. There's a medium elemental, which is this guy. He splits up into two smaller ones, and he dies like so. There's a large one, which is called an Earth Lord, I believe. And he splits up into two mediums, and the two mediums split up into four little ones. That's my point. Personally, I really, really think they should have added different types of elementals. I was hoping Welcome for a fire there. elemental and all that kind of jazz to start popping up later on, but they don't. Me, boys? They just don't. Sad face. If you're going to name something an elemental, you've got to have the other elements in the game as well. It's a rule. Hey, 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 where are you going? Don't, don't be trying to get past my traps. Whoops, I fell down. My bad. You can see these Earth Elementals are pretty damn speedy. Hey, hey, where are you going? Trying to run away. There is no escape from the Sorceress Blast of Doom. Anyway, that's the five skill guide for the tunnels. Very simple, not a lot you can do there as well. We start getting more variation in the following levels, so stay tuned, viewers. Anyway, this is Clockworks. That was the Sorceress. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.